Hi there, Joka here with a new video with the Spellbinder September 2021 small die kit. And I created three cards with this kit. Actually, it's going to be a mix of um, the small and the large die kit you will see in a bit. So this is the kit. You have a bunch of um, words that you can create um, different sentiments with. Um, for, for each one of the words, you have a um, shadow as well. And it's really cool because it's um, a really small shadow. I, I don't particularly like the ones that have this large outline. So I really like these ones, but uh, I did not use them in this video. <laughs> So, um, I'm also using the die. I think this was the large die kit in July. Um, it was a, a whole lot of rectangles. And I wanted to, I don't know about you, but I really like the mini um, slimline format. And I think this is six and a quarter by three and a quarter. Don't quote me on it, but I think that's the correct size. And that's what I'm going with um, on all these three cards. Now, these um, circles are actually the balloons from the large die kit this month. And the um, flowers are from uh, the small die kit. And I <laughs> was planning to add a sentiment. And I don't know why. I I don't know. Maybe I just got distracted when I saw that um, both hello and love fit into this um, bottom left corner. I think my brain stopped working there because I was going to use a larger, like a, a longer sentiment. I think there was happy birthday and thank you for... Um, I'm not sure there was, thank you. I don't know. There were some longer ones and I was going to try what it looks like if I add it vertically on the left and I didn't even try it. So I don't know, <laughs> brain freeze. I only realized it when I edited the video that I never even um, looked at it. Okay, so I'm uh, creating my card base and I'm using Nina 110 pound cardstock for this. Um, I don't really um, like to waste my Nina cardstock for card bases, to be honest. But um, for for the slimline cards, I just find it um, easier for some reason. It's quicker than my, you know, cutting down my 12 by 12 um, cardstock. All right, so it's very simple. I, I die cut a, a smaller piece with these rectangle dies um, from light gray cardstock. This is Spellbinders. And some of this um, color cardstock is also. Um, only the purple ones are not Spellbinders. Those are mostly basil. The plum um, color is something else, but I, I don't know what brand that was. Um, all right, now that I glued those into place, um, I'm just adding that on top and cut off the um, little pieces that um, were off or, or hanging off the side. Um, I die cut the sentiment from white cardstock so that it pops on the uh, gray. And then I decided um, to add some flowers and these are going to be tone on tone um, some of them so these two little flowers are in the small die kit and some of them I layered up um, except for the ones on the bigger balloons the darker pink and the lavender color there I'm going to add just uh, three single layers I could have added double layers but I I don't know if I was maybe lazy <laughs> um, I don't know I just kind of like the different look I don't know if it makes sense but I didn't want all the flowers to be the same 
Um, all right, so I'm gluing everything together. And then I think I will only add one more thing. Um, and that will be some, you guessed it right, probably, <laughs> some enamel dots. Now, <laughs> I don't have a lot of white enamel dots left. And it's super hard to find just one color, really. Um, so I am used some that I've had for a long, long time. And I don't know, maybe that's the reason why they don't stick anymore. So I actually had to glue them down with this um, glue that I'm using here. And I will be honest, I did not test after if they stay in place in the long run. I have to do that because I really don't like to send out cards that fall apart, but I'm worried about it because liquid glue for me, it just never works on surfaces like these. These are actually matte enamel dots, so they are super pretty, but I'm really disappointed that they don't stick at all. Okay, so that was the first card and now moving on to the other one because I had a bunch of uh, flowers die cut and they are so pretty. I actually mentioned in the other video that this here, um, on that flower, the red pieces, those are the leaves. So the leaves you can use for the flower as well. Um, I'm not sure if I put them together the way they were intended to be, but they looked nice to me that way. So kind of like a folklore type of thing, you know, I really, I'm really into those. So, um, these cards kind of remind me of the embroidery that my grandmother used to do when I was little, which I really did not like at the time, but you know, kids, no taste. Um, okay, so I'm trying to figure out what design I want to go with. In the kit, uh, this is also from the large die kit. Uh, you have a bunch of different um, branches. Um, so basically you can build your background however you want to. You can go in any which direction. So um, yeah, I just wanted to add as many flowers as I, I could on the background. And I kind of mix the colors in a totally random way. So um, I just made sure that every element is a different color and I try to place the, um, you know, the similar colors away from each other. It didn't always happen because, you know, I can plan as much as I want to. <laughs> Sometimes things just don't happen the way I want them. So um, anyway, but I, I kind of like the way it turned out in the end. So I really like, I know some people um, commented that they don't like gray. Um, it is a color that I really love using with really strong colors because they just pop off um, that background. So I actually really like gray. So, <laughs> and for me, it's not manly at all, um, especially the light gray. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, everybody has different tastes and that's okay. That's how, you know, that, well, there's a, there's a Hungarian expression, but it, it wouldn't translate to English. So I won't even try, but, um, yeah that that's how it is um okay i'm just gluing down everything and as you can see i'm cropping some of these uh, branches so that um they don't hang off um behind my flowers and yeah then this card is almost done by the way um i added some foam tape um, behind each of these, um, the, the top layer, 
I just couldn't show it in the video because my head was in the in the frame, so I had to crop that out. But just you know, just to create a bit more more of a dimensional element, I added those. And now I'm adding a few flower, um, sorry, leaves. And for these, I used two different green spellbinders cardstock. Um, I like the variety of you know, so that it's not just uh, very monotonous or I don't know. I, I like, uh, it's kind of, you know, in real life as well, leaves are not all the same color. So I like that. Um, and I kind of bent up the, the leaves just to lift them off the page a little bit. I hope in the close-ups you will be able to see that. But I only do this with my fingers, even though now I have... Um, this pro kit um, that you can use to shape flowers, but I I didn't feel the need to to use that. And also, I'm quite used to using just my fingers. And that card is done. If you want to, um, you know, go a little bit further, you could also add some uh, hand stitching here because these. Um, the back panel is actually, um, you know, it has the hole, so you could do that. But as I said, or maybe I didn't say it in this video, but I, I just was really short on time. So, yeah, that didn't happen. Um, okay, so now I'm using a um, third die from that rectangle kit. And I'll use this as uh, almost like a, a wraparound piece in the middle because I really wanted to use one of these longer sentiments as well. Um, so yeah, happy birthday to you is probably the, the longest that you get in this kit. And yeah, I just created a, like a, a focal point in the middle of my card. And like I said, I like the um, gray um everything just pops off like you can see that the white also pops on it and then i will add colors with other elements here in a bit i kind of yeah i i, I know i probably shouldn't choose favorites but i much prefer the cars that i did with this kit than um than the other ones although having said that and this is also mostly the large uh, die kit right because the flowers are from that kit only the sentiments are from this one but you know i didn't want to just go with cards with just the sentiments obviously you could do that too but i think most people would just add something that they already have in their stash um it's you know sentiments are always great I love um, like a sentiment. So, okay, so I'm creating like a, the same design at the top and the bottom, and it's only four flowers and a bunch of leaves. And here as well, I tried to be, how do you say that? Purposefully random <laughs> with the colors uh, on the flowers. So, they all have three different um, or three or four different colors depending on which flower we are talking about and i try to place them in a way that the colors you know the same colors are not next to each other and yeah and then this is almost done i'm just adding five <coughs> excuse me five leaves to each um cluster god i i don't know what's with me that i just don't remember the simplest words today my brain is elsewhere i think all right um then one thing left <laughs> probably you could have guessed it um i mean you really don't need to add anything to this i think i think but you know me, I like uh, 
to overdo things and add as much color as, as I can. And yeah, I played with the enamel dots for I don't know how many minutes, so I, I just cropped that part out because nobody wants to watch that, right? Okay, so here are the uh, finished cards again up close. You can see the dimension there. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope uh, I could give you some um, ideas. And please check out my other video as well because... Um, I'm using the same products there as well. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.